Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show you guys how you can fix this kind of problem that you may have with your USB devices. So basically you are not able to use your USB device and you can see at the device manager this kind of information or notification which is telling unknown USB device, device description request failed. So how we can fix this kind of problem? I will walk you through the main methods that you can fix this problem. The first thing that you have to do is to make sure that actually the USB device is working properly. And the second thing, try to switch or change the USB ports. Probably your USB port is not working properly. And after you are sure that these two things are fine, then you move on to these steps that I'm going to show, which are related with the drivers or with the system of Windows that you are using. Regardless if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11, the steps are pretty much the same. The first thing that you have to do is to open the device manager. How we do that? We just search here device manager and then once you see the device manager which is part of the control panel, you click on it in order to open. And then over here you have to go over universal serial bus controllers. And then here you have to identify which one of these devices is the one that is having issues. For example, I'm just going to select one of these devices and I will show to you what you do and the steps are the same regardless which device you have. So the first thing that you have actually to do is to update the driver. Give it a try, search for the drivers from here, or if not, then you can browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers and you try to play around with the available drivers that you have and try to reinstall the driver. And if that didn't help, then the next step is to uninstall the device. So by uninstalling this device, so you click over uninstall, then you will have the possibility to reinstall the driver of this device. So basically you uninstall the driver and then unplug the device from your USB port and then do a restart of the PC and then plug it again the device and most probably this will help to fix this kind of problem. If neither of this method didn't work, then the next thing is to open the device driver that you are having an issue and then you click over uh, properties. So you click with the right of the mouse and then you choose properties. And then over properties, you can have this button here, power management. And then you click over here, allow the computer to turn off this device to see if power. You unclick on this option, then you click over OK. Some devices may not have this power management tab, but if not, then you don't have what to do for now. You have to move to the next step that may help you to fix. But if you find over properties, this button here, power management, unclick it and then press it over OK, and this will help to fix this problem that you may have. Then the next thing that you have to do is to open again the device manager and from there we click with the right of the mouse over the device and then we choose properties and then we go over details and over here you have to choose from the property here you choose device instance path and then you have to copy this path over here so we click with the right of the mouse and then we choose copy and then the next thing that we have to do is to open the registry editor so we search here, regedit, and then it will show you the register editor. Please be careful here. Don't play around a lot with it. Just do what I'm saying on this video if you are not familiar with register editor. So what we actually do is we open this path over here. So can you see the path here? Uh, I will put on the description below so you can just paste the path over here and then you come directly over this registry path where you have to be so basically it's computer local machine system current control set and enum and then we write backslash over here and then that path that we copied from the device manager we paste it here so basically like this and this will help us to identify exactly the device that is assigned on the register editor and it was on the device manager according to that path id that we copied and then over here, we have to choose device parameters. And over here, the first thing that you have to do for the default, you have to click there and you put the value data zero. And then the next thing is that we create a new 
dword 32 bit value so we change the name actually it's not this the name that we want and the name that we need is enhanced power management enabled i'll put on the description below this keyword name and then you don't have to change the value you just keep the default one which is zero and then after you change the default value to zero and you enter this d word which is named enhanced power management enabled then you have to do a restart of the pc unplug the usb device and then plug it back again and check if this will fix the problem that you had. All right, so these are the main things that you have to do in order to fix this problem. And the last thing that actually could help you is to do an update of the computer. So we check for the updates and it's important then when you go for Windows update, you check about advanced options, you click over there and then you go over optional updates. It's very important to check the optional update and you see if there is necessary to do a driver update which is over the optional update or other updates that may need it to be installed but they are not a requirement by default from the microsoft or from windows by going over optional updates you are able to update the optional drivers that probably haven't been installed properly and then we just click over download and install and this will install these updates so basically those are the main methods how to fix this problem Always play around with a driver if your computer doesn't have a problem with a USB port or with your USB device. Play around a little bit with the driver like we did, uninstall it, try to download it from the official website of the device, the driver that it is for that device. For example, if you are using a specific camera, you can search on the web for that specific driver for that device and that will help you to find properly the correct driver that you need for that one good that's all that i wanted to share with you guys today i hope you like this video and please consider subscribing to our channel wish to you all the best thank you